you see some parents withdraw their kids right from maybe DSS, I mean SS2, to go and write WAEC, and they will start writing down from there. Such child might not do well. People are not reading again. So what happens is that the social media has taken over the student's life. The Joint Admission Matriculation Board, JAM, revealed that out of the 1,842,464 candidates whose results of the 2024 Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination, UTME, have been released, more than 1.4 million, accounting for 77%, scored below 200. While the board is yet to announce the minimum benchmark for admissions for the 2024-2025 academic session, historically, admission benchmarks for universities have typically ranged between 180 to 200. Today on People Talk, we ask Nigerians what they think about the recently released jam results. Like I'm coming from school now, and the discussion there is how students are not doing well and all the reason like parents has fault and the school system itself is not helping you know you see some parents withdraw their kids right from maybe dss i mean ss2 to go and write WAEC, and they will start writing down from there such child might not do well because things he needed to know, or she or he or she needed to know before writing the exam, is not there. It's like you see some adults playing with toys that they're supposed to have played with in, in their uh, little age. You know, what you, what you are not able to do might affect you at the older age. That's what I see that is happening. Government just need to, at least, do some new things that maybe the way we used to do it in our own days that you must get to a certain age before doing what you needed to do. I was so surprised one day that somebody was telling me that a uh, copper can speak and he cannot write what he's saying down by herself. It's Nigeria you see that kind of thing. Someone that is serving meaning that that person have gone through university and such person cannot even write. That's a disgrace to this nation. So I will urge government to think of a way to help we Nigerians to see solutions to that. Because some of these kids are not even exposed to computer before going out for that exam. You know, like my son's case, Apart from, we thank God that the school is coming to, they have uh, lessons that they are doing on computer. And, but some of the school we have don't even have any facilities to do such. Such child that is coming out of that school will also sit for uh, jam. How do you want such child to do well in such exam? A mass failure should be as a result of the students. They are not just serious. People are not reading again. So what happens is that the social media has taken over the students' life. So instead of them to concentrate on their studies, they are just the the social media has taken over their life. So and even when when you talk about the English writing now, the students will not study the in depth. They want to write anything, they will write in short forms. So and some parents they are not encouraging their students. So instead of them to instead of the parents to make sure the students are reading their books, they will lead them to to practice exam math practice because they believe they can always buy the results. So there is all these special centers and so when they depend on the special centers and it will not work sometimes. So it means they don't have alternative but to fail. So I don't believe uh, the parents are doing enough. During our own time, you have to study rigorously and you read with lantern, you read with uh, the candle or the rest. But now there's electricity, solar and everything. So there's no excuse for not reading your books. But the students are just lazy. That's what I feel. For me, I'll say it's intentional. It did it intentional because I'm not even actually did it yet. I did this year, so I wasn't expecting that result to be like that. But hearing the news, even before the result came out, like 
kind of breakdown for its own, like seeing people feeling like that. So, to me, I think it's something to just give you attention because we have a lot of even students that that are about to get admission, you know, doing from the time of I think when a lot of students waiting for admission. So, so I think starting from that time, the yeah, charm stuff has been the summer. I scored, uh, I think, 174. I wanted to go to university because I finished my own. So I was planning to change to university. So, now, so for now, for now, I think I'll just go back to my gym. My own thought about this massive area is just that these students now are not serious like them, you know. Then we have plenty of serious students that want to work. We already have the vision that, okay, I want to become a doctor, I want to become... Now, if you look at 90% to 95% of those guys and ladies going for the exam, most of them are already into what is bringing money. You understand? So, their mind is not just at this. They are not really... They are not book freak. I don't know, education freak. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. Even their parents are no more encouraging them to go more. Because when you look at a boy of 15 years old, already using 13 Pro Max, bringing money to the house, already putting something on the table. So even the parents for them will be like, even education is just to go to school and bring money. They want them to work and live a better life. But the boy is already doing fine. So I guess it's just about the, the student, not, it's not the fault of the government. We cannot say um, the question they are setting is too hard. Because I can remember when we had some sets that are deep written. You understand? They, they have to calculate out, they have to do all this stuff. But now that it's even, it's even um, CBT, it should be even easier. Because all these students are now computer literate. They, they are used to phone. What are they using the phone for? They are not using, using it for something that will better their life in the educational aspect. So I would just say it's, it's about the students, not the government. So it's